seeing early on that I had a gift, and I wasn't necessarily the most talented player all the time, but what I had was a will to win, and you know, I knew how to punk people. I go on the court, I'm a different person, right? It's like a Superman cape that's come on your back, right? Working hard and doing whatever it took to win. It's kind of like a hockey mentality. My dad buys a hoop. We used to put on gloves, two pairs of sweatpants, two pairs of hoodie, go out there, shovel the driveway, and just play all day. I had a plan from then. I was like, I'm going to get better every day. You know, I might be here now, but I'm going to be up here in two, three, four, five years. When you see multiple guys make it out, you know, it gives you a little bit more motivation to believe it. It's a lot of work. You gotta be lucky to get to the NBA also. There's a lot of guys in the world who can play the game. It's just a matter of being in the right place, right time. You know, things working out for you in the right way. I hear that curve all the time. You're the GOAT, you're the GOAT. But I wanted to play in the NBA. That was my goal, that was my dream. You know, and I wasn't able to. Pretty good. I mean, this is all new to him, right? Hey, um, young boy, half Nigerian kid. Good dirt. He's good, man. He could be really good, man. It's oh like, my gosh. Yeah. He's got huge upside, man. You know what he's looking at? Malachi. Great job, man. Great job. You enjoyed it? Yeah. Good experience? Yeah. I'll tell you what, you turned some heads. You turned some heads, man. Yeah. Thank you, bye. Thanks for letting me. How'd it go? He did really well. I thought he did really well. He's right there, man. People are asking about him, like I said, and, you know, it's only going to get a little crazier, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Someone came to me, it's like, everyone's after him. Like, I figured, you know, but, so, be yourself, but understand a lot of what's coming at you is, like, you know, professional. So, how do you discern what's coming at you? Everyone's telling you different things, right? You got to learn how to filter it. Like, if you take everything, hold on to everything, you'll be a mess. So, I'm your big homie. Talk to big homie. <laughs> Biosuit weekend. That was the busiest thing I've ever done in my life. Like, that's the top competition in Canada. And I was realizing, like, I can, I can do this. I, I can compete with these guys. Four months earlier, I was playing here. In Toronto, it's always, it's always busy, like, no matter what the day is, so. I don't know, it's kind of relieving just to come home, kind of calm down. They have no idea what St. Thomas even is. If they were to come down here, they'd probably be like shocked of <laughs> like where I live. That was January we did that, and so now it's already March. So he, yeah, he has grown since. <laughs> Like, Michael Jordan's like 6'6", six, six, and I'm taller than Michael Jordan. Like, I don't really think, like, that's crazy to me. My dad, he played in the NHL and played hockey in England. You know, everything's soccer over there. Most of these are soccer. There's times to be a kid like when you're at the hotel with your with your teammates and stuff and you just be like normal, I guess. Well, normal, but like when it's when it's time to play basketball, you, you got to have the right mental mindset. You got to be mature and like I don't know. Can't play to your age, I guess.
Vi, he said, here, check out this link. So I clicked on it, and it was Draft Express. So I was like, what? Like, and I scrolled down, and I see my name. So, and I'm like, what? I was at a loss for words. I couldn't believe what I was reading. I couldn't even believe it. I remember he was upstairs in his room, and he come running down, and he's like, Mom, look at this. I'm like, someone actually wrote this much detail about my kid. For me, I'd have to say it's been a bit overwhelming. It's hard to soak it all in at times, for sure. Yo, man, take off the shades, boy. How much one $80.24. Before I got invited to the ABCD camp, I was gonna go to Five Star Camp. And that was just what you did. You looked at the Sports Illustrated, you just found something where there's a little flyer, and you actually had to go and pay for it, right? Me and Jamal, for example, our AU experiences, I think five AU games. And that was it. Fab 48 is like one of the best tournaments in the country because you get teams from like every circuit. It's an opportunity to be looked at by like college coaches. You get scholarships. This is the last AU tournament of the year, so gotta go out with a bang. Favorite thing about playing with Malachi is if I miss, he's gonna grab three, bro. <laughs> 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 My favorite thing about um, but Kian, it's like, like, there's more with Kian than there's Malachi. Like, no offense, but there just is. Like, Kian, like, like, he passes the ball, like, well, and he picks and chooses, like, when to do his thing. Like, when he's, like, playing well, then it's just, everything's just fun. Oh, my God. The weather is fucking hot. <laughs> yo, yo, Mateus, what's NS? I'm phone now. Never satisfied. N S. <laughs> this guy has to smile when he does it. <laughs> Keon's growing, man. Pittsburgh was rough, so we brought in two other point guards because I wasn't happy with that point guard play. And for a point guard of his stature, you're in a position of no leadership. And at 14, 15, you don't really know what it means to lead. It's things that maybe don't show up in the box score, but when you're at the head, our team runs smoother. To his credit, he's just stuck to it. He's gotten better, better, and better. And at this point, for our team, he's definitely our point guard. He's the guy that I trust the most. Kian is my king. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you see my text? Uh, you should just read it. But don't yell because uh, everyone's in the room, and I don't want to be like put on blast. You know, just, 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 calm, just be calm. Just read it. I got up and I forgot my bag, and then I just forgot that it was there, and I went upstairs to my room, and I was like, oh shit, where's my bag? I came back down since it was gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we are gathered here today, Father. Hopefully, we can find Keon's bag with many valuables in it, mm. ranging from money. Hallelujah to shoes. Hallelujah. Passports. And give me an amen. 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 One more time, let me get an amen. 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 One more time, we'll get an amen, brothers. Amen. amen. I need, to, I need to have fun before I freak out about losing my passport. Kellen, you hear me? Start guessing next pass in the zone. We turned the ball over and all of you, everyone just dribbled right by you. And you're jogging like this, Kellen. How'd that tell me you want to play? Holy crap. Your effort is at like a, a level two, bro. Okay, we need to give ourselves to the team. That's selfish. Rebound, rebound, rebound. Run! The 
deserve to lose. Don't tell them a good game. Don't, don't, don't tell them that. No, they play like crap. Play like crap. Every single rebound was theirs. Every loose ball was theirs. We want to shoot threes and look pretty and think that makes me a basketball player. No, they're basketball players. Why? They just kicked your ass. With effort, with heart and desire, they beat you. Were you guys more skilled and more talented? Absolutely. What does that mean right now in this moment? Absolutely nothing. I won't have it around me, straight up. I'm not, I'm not having that around me, guys. I'm not built like that, Sam. So this smile on your face, you better lose the smile, man. I, well, guess what? I think you are, so what? I think you are smiling, now what? That's what matters, Sam. It's what I think. What I think matters now. Not Twitter, not Instagram, not how many likes. I'm not having guys around me that aren't here to win. We'll send you back home. We'll keep you at the hotel room. I'm here to win basketball games and get scholarships. And that's it. That's why I'm here. Bishop Gorman, that's where Snoop's son. Snoop Dogg's son went yeah, to it, right? Yeah, that's it. All the college coaches are mainly here. This is the main gym. If we win out, we get to this gym, so that's the goal. Okay, so we're not there yet. We gotta earn our way into this platform, all right? Okay, let's go. Sit there and just take it in and understand, like, this is the stage we're trying to get to. You don't want to make it seem like a job at this point, but at the same time, that's the fine line. It's like, we're out here playing AAU basketball. You know, that kid we played against is going to be a pro. There's professional coaches in the gym. It's not some of the other sports where you're so far removed from the highest level. In basketball, you're a year removed, maybe two removed from that level. So it's a, it's a weird space where you're trying to make sure that as a young man, you're doing it for the right reasons, that there is a love for the sport. At the same time, like there's this professional element to it. Last weekend, there's, there's tons of coaches there and uh, schools calling about me. Say the school name. <laughs> Virginia Tech called for me, Mateus, and uh, Levine, so. It's just the first step of the process, I guess. <laughs> He's about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> but Vi told me, I was just shocked, like, couldn't really comprehend what, what he just told me. I broke my ring finger. Just, like, it's still, like, it's just, it's just a little bit depressing. Maybe, like, a prep school is watching us play, and maybe, like, if I played well, he would have, like, like, got interested in me. Maybe I could have gotten, like, an interest from Virginia Tech or something like that. Like, who knows? So, like, it's just like, like I said, it's kind of hard. I'm just smiling at least. <laughs> you're on TV. Okay, you're on. Yeah, I'm Vidal's daughter. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then what, what university are you going to? I'm going to North Carolina. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> she starts high school Monday, yeah? Milwaukee, Toronto, Buffalo, back to Toronto, to Vegas. Yeah. So, July is like, it's intense. It's intense. I was pissed yesterday, as you guys can tell, right? My wife reminded me today to pray for you guys, to help you guys understand the opportunity at hand. Because you don't. 
And I can't blame you at your age for not understanding and having perspective. But when I was 14, 15, I don't have perspective either. Someone brings me somewhere, I'm here. Let's, like, let's turn up, let's, let's have fun. And then when it's game time, I'll go play. Yes, yes, yes cannot do that, guys. No other program in Canada has this age group here. It's facts. It may be once in a lifetime where you come to Vegas and hopefully attract the eye of a college coach, hopefully get an education through basketball. I didn't come to Vegas till I was a grown ass man. No one brought me to Vegas. So if any, if any of you are doubting our love for you, again, at 14, 15, I get that coach came down on me really hard. He don't like me. You think we brought someone we don't like to Vegas? I would describe that as, man, I got people who love me. I want to see you guys be successful, man. That's it. I need to see your heart. I need to see it on the floor. I need to see what your character is. You all need to ask yourself, why are you here? And what are you made of? What are you made of? No, I'm almost in tears. I'm almost in tears because no one did this for me. Get up, get up, get up! Let's go, run, 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 run! Stop the ball, stop the ball, stop! The coach said, stay on Matthias, so now you have a lane to drive when you come off here. Sprint, Mal, sprint, Mal, sprint, 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 sprint! That one! They're losing all their composure right now, okay? We're gonna break them. Sponsor team is supposed to beat us. This is everything we're about. We're giant killers. We're gonna kill them, and they're not gonna know what happened. Good take, Keon. Good job, Keon. Pitbull. Pitbull. Work the ball. Work the ball. Work the ball. Hey, hey, Malachi. Shade him. Shade him. Go, go. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Hit one. Clap it up, good job, clap it up, clap it up. And hey, we're not done here, hey, we are far from done. We're in the elite eight of a national tournament. Are we surprised? No. Are we content? No. We win tomorrow, we're in the final four. That's a huge deal down here, a huge accomplishment. It says a lot about your character and about who you are. We're two games away from the finals. All right, get up, let's go, good job, get up. I don't really see myself as a known guy. <laughs> known guy. Shut Malachi. Up. I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Hello, my name is Malachi Nadir. Shut up. I'm six shut seven. Up, I'm the captain of Northern shut Kings. Up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> I am Malachi. Nadir. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't even know how to talk. I don't know. When he misses the layup, he goes. <laughs> slaps it. My fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. No, I see my fault. The Malachi. That's what we call it. <laughs> it's pretty known. Oh my god. It's gosh. pretty known. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not known. I'm known to you guys. I'm from St. Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> hit it, hit it. Good job. 
we did a fundraiser to come to Las Vegas, and um, it was like twenty dollars for a raffle ticket or something like that. And I had a lot of a lot of family members, friends, stuff like that. And like the amount of times I heard "You better make it," like don't forget about me when you make it, blah blah blah. And I heard it like a thousand times, and it's like, like what is making it to you? You know what I mean? Like, stop the ball, stop the ball, start. Just seeing the scholarships being given out, and recently in the NBA, like the contracts that are given out, just just make me maybe hungry to. You know, achieve my goal playing professional basketball. Good job. Let's go. Run, run, run. Run, run. Where I'm from, like, very, very few people have done that, so it just means a lot. The NBA, it feels closer because, like, I have, like, Steph Smith, like, Corey Joseph, who's in the NBA. Justin Jackson, who goes to Maryland, like, those guys are from my area. It doesn't seem easy. It just seems like that's what's like a dream. It seems more like a, like a possibility. Shoot to the corner, okay? Tariq, set a back screen for the Give it in, shoot it! Two point game. One game away from the final four. These opportunities are far and in between, guys. Far and in between. When I was going into grade 12, I was a counselor at Eli Pasquale basketball camp. And you know, you gotta think, like this is the best point guard in the country, and he's driving me home in a pretty beat up car. And he said, so do you wanna play in the NBA? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, are you sure? I was like, yeah. And he's like, well then you should declare that right now. He's like, I didn't decide I wanted to play in the NBA until before my fifth year at UVic and I was the last cut on the Sonics and the Bulls. And if I had just declared my intentions to myself that I wanted to do that earlier, there's no way that I, I couldn't have made that last little step. At the time, I didn't really you know, fully understand the depths of like a declaration, like putting it out there in the universe and living up to that every day. But you know, having someone like that plant that seed was very pivotal. You guys are 15 years old. You're gonna mature physically. If you don't mature mentally, if you don't grow from your mistakes, guys, if you keep making the same mistake over and over again, at a certain point, 